Erie County Council voting tonight on an ordinance that would rescind the lease agreement between the county and Gannon University to have a part of Project Neptune operate in the Blasco Library. Our Philip Ward was there tonight for the vote. So, Philip, it's been a topic of conversation for a long time. What did council decide? Yeah, good evening, Mike. Well, in a four to three vote, Erie County Council voted in favor of the ordinance to rescind the lease. And after the meeting, council members who are both for and against it explained what comes next. Another packed county council meeting, including opinions on both sides of the Project Neptune issue being heard. You should have filed our location first on the Bayfront. They're taxpayers who are really upset. I do not expect uh, that this will be the, in the last that we'll hear of the citizens uh, just by... Uh, you know, judging by the passion in the room. I still believe that um, the Great Lakes Research Education Center will be something that um, we will appreciate as a community. It's a good project. I believe it's a good partnership, and, and I believe it's, it's what's best for the county as a whole. This was the reaction of the chamber after council voted to rescind the lease by a vote of four to three. Councilman Jim Wynarski, who voted against the ordinance, and Chairman Terry Scatell, who voted for it, both say they still believe the project will be beneficial for the county. This will be a asset to the community for many, many years to come. It's going to be a learning experience for the patrons of the library as well as Gannon. I've been for the project since the beginning. I voted, you know, for the $1.5 million. I just don't believe that it should be in the library when there's other places on the Bayfront. Erie County Public Information Officer Chris Carroll says council rescinding the lease is potentially illegal. It opens us up to legal risk from Gannon if they feel if they feel so inclined to uh, file suit, but we would issue a executive veto on this matter um, in the near future. So where do we go from here? Well, Chairman Terry Scatella tells me that now the county executive has 10 days to veto the ordinance, and if he does veto it, it will then be put on the agenda for the next meeting to override that veto. That would take five votes from council. Live in the studio, Philip Ward, Erie News Now.